Veterans are getting creative at the Sioux Falls VA. More than a dozen pieces of art are on display as part of a national competition. Couple of lands, Matt Holson shows you how art can help veterans heal. Navy veteran Spencer Pitts is a patient at the Sioux Falls VA Medical Center. It's a great place. While health issues can get you down, Pitts is trying to build himself up like he used to do when he fixed 3D search radar on ships when he was in the service. I rebuilt a lot of stuff before him. They got it working. Now he's building models. This is his entry in tomorrow's art competition. It's one of more than two dozen pieces. It helps with their PTSD, their post traumatic stress from the different things that they've experienced in war and all those kind of things. And so art, whether it's painting or using their hands or creating something, gives them a way to release. Chief of Chaplains Rochelle Binion says art can get veterans moving and talking, and that leads to healing. The art festival is taking place in the recently renovated chapel on top of refurbished windows. There's also a brand new reflection room and new offices for the chaplains. The $1.4 million facelift shows a commitment to creating spaces for veterans to share their stories. To a safe place to come and just sit and say, and kind of just take a deep breath, you know, when this life stress is hit. In addition to seven chaplains, the VA also employs several mental health professionals. We have all sorts of resources available for our veterans. We have chaplains who are available, and you don't have to be religious uh, to see a chaplain or even talk to somebody. It's to somebody to listen and to share your story with. It's about them and we thank them for their service and their sacrifice to this country. A sacrifice honored by shining a light on their unique perspectives. In Sioux Falls, Matt Holson, Kelloland News. There is some real talent there. The art festival tomorrow at the Sioux Falls VA Medical Center takes place from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and awards reception will take place at 1.30.